think it's important to look at, you know, we, we talk about the, the, the creativity around technology and everything else. We have to be mindful as well about um, making sure we're giving our pupils the right message about how to, how to do these things correctly and safely. Uh, whether it be Creative Commons, whether it be uh, e-safety, whether it be you know, stranger danger, all those things are important. We can't never lose sight of that. Uh, I'm fortunate to be uh, involved with the company, uh, North Wales based up in Flintshire. Uh, the backgrounds of the, of the two um, guys running that, uh, Henry and Danielle Platten, are unique. They come from the private sector. Um, Danielle was um, the head of HSBC's Global Campaigns Department. Um, multi-skilled uh, lady. She also controlled the social media uh, for large organisations such as HSBC and Henry's background in the police force with a very similar um, skill set as well. So what you have there is two people like myself from Spidey leaving those safe and secure posts to a certain extent but wanting to make a difference and they set up a company called um, it's the Social Media Police but they've got a programme within that called eCadets uh, and I've been working with them on sort of, of crafting the model and they've now got what I believe is a unique three-year programme for schools, uh, which basically uh, is based on a, on a digital leader model, really, which starts off with empowering anything between four and eight children within the school, and they train them and the e-learning manager on the dangers around it, how to make it safe, how to make it fun, how to make it interactive, and there's a, there's a distinct piece of work which goes into that uh, initial uh, phase. Online resources, um, live Skypes and um, Google Hangouts to the school, so you can ask Henry, which is the animation character in there. Um, and that's fantastic. Year two evolves. And it evolves because the guys are passionate about making this part of the school culture in three years. Now, it's not easy, uh, but I believe they've got a, a product which will do that. Year two evolves into those, let's take them as 80 cadets, in the summer term, actually training, um, do an application process, selecting and training another eight in the year below. So now you have 16, and they have the skill set to so the following you do the same. It also involves uh, that second phase, e-parents. So we create around um, the model of the 16 e-cadets, eight e-parents to come into school, and they have training. And they act as ambassadors at that level for other parents. The following year, year three, you have all of that. We also bring in the e-governors. Now all of a sudden, you have a cultural change program actually living and breathing within your school. And at the end of those three years, there's a whole lot of detail that goes into that, obviously. Uh, we're working on an accreditation scheme for schools then, whereby they can then assess and self-evaluate what they've done against perhaps a, a bronze, a silver and gold award, which the cadets guys will, will present with you. So all in all, it's, it's a rounded programme, which, which, which is a cultural change programme. Alongside all of the, the huge changes going on in Wales around technology, well, let's be honest, are very positive. Let's not be negative about everything. Um, that bit is key. And that bit for schools to get that input from people who've done it in the private sector, giving it back to the public sector, with the skill sets they've got, and people like myself and others helping them craft that to make it the education link. That's really a true partnership between what we're here for for the next two days. So again, a very exciting uh, piece to come across Wales. Mm -hmm.